Shalom. Call her Lord, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders. Citations to all my fellow laborers doing this work in truth and sincerity, risking their lives and their freedom to do so. To the confusion of faith joined unto our ranks that's scattered among the heathen. To our to the uh, Akwath that are listening and learning, to all the scattered Israelites, the hopefully elect, to you I give a sincere shalom. This is your brother Malcolm of, from the uh, the branch of the Great Millstone here in Chicago. Uh, once again, this is your brother Malcolm of. And uh, just coming at you with another lesson, just, you know, deep in the spirit, this is zero dark hundred. Um, I couldn't sleep very well. The spirit was on me thinking about different things. Uh, just praying about, you know, what's coming because uh, Esau is getting ready to move on us. Yeah, he's, his, he, he displays that he has a hate and a disdain and he openly lies on us and covers up and hides uh, evidence that would, that would free us. The same as he uh, covered up and hide our history of who we are and then labeled us whatever he wanted to label us and gave us a false identity. And now, uh, basically on the verge of referring to us as terrorists for reclaiming our true nationality, our true heritage, who we, who we really are. And there are mountains higher than Mount Everest, which they polluted, by the way, with dead bodies, human feces, and, and all matters of waste from climbing up that mountain. But there's, uh, there's mountains of evidence to prove that we are the Israelites. That, and when I say we, Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and of course, the scattered confusion of face among the heathen that look like the heathen. Um, you got uh, Israelites that just can't seem to embrace that fact. Um, but nevertheless, they, they, there's mountains of evidence to prove everything that I've just said, and we've presented it. You know, I've, I've been in this, this truth 12 years now, uh, doing nothing but what I was taught and presenting the evidence to prove all points. But yet they look past the evidence to just go by what they think and feel or go with their lies. Um, this is uh, John 8 and 44, and it reads, Ye are of your father, the devil, and the lust of your father ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning and abode not in truth, because there is not truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own. But he is a liar and the father of it. And that that's that 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 Satan that he's talking about is that human adversary which was Esau Edom. The first murderer, the first liar. Alright? Because he because Esau Edom came back as Cain. Alright? And that's there's plenty of videos and scriptures to prove that. That not being a topic. But um what I'm praying for and asking for and what we all should be is that the Lord keeps us, you know, and not and, lie, and not allow us to uh, our integrity to leave us no matter what. You know, this is uh, Psalms 51 and 11, and it reads, Cast me not away from thy presence and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. And that scripture is actually in my daily prayer, that particular scripture. All right, um, I learned that from from uh, Elder Apostle Bacar many years ago. Heard him say that, and and for as long as I can remember now, that's been a part of my prayer daily. Um, and I suggest that you know we all pray that the Lord makes our uh, our spirit stronger than our afflictions you know our, our, that our spirit be stronger than our temptation is something that I, I it's a saying that I have that I also pray for I pray that in prayer that my that my spirit be stronger than my afflictions stronger than my temptations you all should but without any further ado uh, let's listen, listen to my sister Lisa Cabrera I, I love Lisa <laughs> Her spirit is so fiery, man. And she knows she's an Israelite, too, clearly. Um, but let's let her uh, 
give her her valid two cents on the subject matter of, of falsehoods and lies. And you look on the screen, you're looking at a face of an Edomite uh, dressed in blackface, so committing crimes. And don't forget about, uh, you know, those prosthetic masks. A lot of those, and listen, people, a lot of those shootings in, that are going on around America in Chicago um, were Edomite men dressed up in, in those prosthetic black blackface masks. Uh, inciting violence and killing and killing Israelites. Okay. Don't believe the hype. Ladies and gentlemen, this is an article that came out on Fox Five KBBU TV, Las Vegas. This knuckle dragger <laughs> had the audacity to go out in blackface. And hey, that's my new word, man. Knuckle dragon Edomites. That's really going to piss them off, Akin. We should all adopt that. These knuckle dragon Edomites. Thank you, Sister Lisa. The water. And try to rob a casino. You know, this is why many of us say black people get accused of many things that we don't even do. We have seen white women fabricate a rape and accuse, uh, you know, black men of gang raping them. We've seen that. We have seen white people deface their own property and then turn around and say somebody black did it. We have seen these lies all through the years. And ladies and gentlemen, I was watching, um, this was a story I believe that came out on 20, 20 years ago. They went back and investigated the lynchings that went on in the South, you know, um, right after reconstruction. And they said they didn't find one of those lynchings where the person was guilty. Virtually every single black man that they hung down in the South and up here in the North, don't let these people try to fool you into believing that all this just went on in the South. New York actually was the number one hanging state in America, mm -hmm. up in the North and Midwest. So black men were... This is Joe. 13 and 7, will ye speak wickedly for God and talk deceitfully for him? Will ye accept his persons? Will ye contend for God? Right? See, we contend for the Most High, for his word, for his truth. But Esau speaks wickedly and, wickedly and deceitfully. It's Job 13 and 4. But ye are forgers of lies. Ye are all physicians of no value. These knuckle dragon Edomites, these Idumians, descendants of the Romans and the Herodians, they're, they're the wicked. Job 9 and 24, the earth was given into their hands. And they're going to lie until the moment Yahweh comes to the clouds and comes for them. They're going to lie up until that time. Hung all over this country. And they said they have not found one case where those lynchings took place and the black man was guilty. These motherfuckers have lied all throughout history. Yes, they have. And they continue to try their best to make themselves look as good as possible in the media and make black people look as bad as possible at all costs, even if it means lying. And that's what they do, especially on Fox. If you watch Fox News, Fox News is, it, it, that's exactly what they do. All right? Esau is just a liar. I'll give you an example. There's commercials that are airing all over the airways on the radio that talks about living with, a, with HIV and how there's no cure for HIV. That's a goddamn lie, Dr. Sebi cured HIV and proved it in the court of law. 
That's what they killed that rapper Nipsey Hussle over. He was going to do a documentary on, on Dr. Sebi. All right? They killed Dr. Sebi. All right? How they said this man died. This man died of things that he had cured. How are you going to die of something you've cured? Right? He cured, he cured things that supposedly were not able to be cured. All right? HIV AIDS being one of them. All right. He, he also uh, cured syphilis and and, uh, and herpes. Herpes is supposed to be with you in life. This man cured people of herpes, man. He even cured Edomites. They came all the way from, from Israel, some of them, to testify on his behalf and brought their medical records. All right. I can imagine Esau's removing all the information and videos about him and the proof off, off of YouTube and off the Internet. But there is a cure. There also is a patent for it, too. But let's click to another video that was done by the beloved brother Adama, the head of the uh, Boston camp. The name of this video is called, I wish he had named it that, but it says, The Day White America Was Paralyzed. So let's let it play. Hey, Shalom. Call the Lord. The ones that apostles of the great millstone and show an alarm to you brothers on the highways and byways doing the works of sealing faithfully and continually fighting that good fight of faith and continue and contending for the truth. Alright, so tonight's lesson is going to be entitled The Day White America Was Paralyzed. And that's the spirit. I just read a scripture about contending for the Lord, and then he said contending for the truth. <laughs> and that's the spirit. Now, this is going to go back from, go back to the O.J. Simpson case back in 94. And, um, you had a whole, you had a whole, a whole country of people, Edomites primarily, who were absolutely shocked and dismayed due to the fact that O.J. was found not guilty for the murder of his wife and Ron Goldstein or Gold, Goldsberg, whatever the hell his name was, okay? But... Well, according to the Bible, the punishment for adultery is death. For all you Christians out there, and supposedly America was a Christian society. Just saying. But this is also going to show you that Esau, he don't give a goddamn about him, about anybody but his own man. And this is going to be clear, okay? Because the lead detective, Mark Furman, I'm going to play a clip, okay? He was the one that was the lead detective. He was the one that, you know, called all the shots. Well, at some point in time, during the trial, you know, it was being known or found out that he, he was a crooked cop, man. Okay? And Johnny, Cro and Johnny Cochran and the boys, you know seen through all his bullshit basically the way that, that the great millstone and other israelites has seen through esau edom and found out that they're dirty liars and they falsified history and falsified identities and when we expose it they just plead the fifth plausible deniability i'm not i think that's the, the word or just have complete cognitive dissonance. So all that being said, you got a nation of people who was so up in arms concerning, you know, O.J. Simpson being found not guilty. They didn't care, man. They didn't care about the not guilty verdict. They didn't care. They, this they, man they, they, they didn't care about the evidence that proved that he was innocent. The evidence proved he was innocent. And there were other, there were factors that, there were facts about that case that they never, uh, uh, you know, uh, um, talked about or brought out to the, to the public, man. Right? The fact that Ryan Goldman, that it was more than likely, it was multiple people according to forensics. All right? And that Ryan Goldman was a black belt in karate. And that his knuckles and his fist were all bruised up from punching people. And there was skin under his female 
I mean under his female under his fingernails. So Ron Goldman went down fighting. He hit and hurt someone. All OJ had on him was a little bitty scratch. So who was he who was he punching and beating? Where all those bruises on his knuckles come from? And that his and that his feet dug into the, the soil a couple inches because he took one of them that wide horse stance that those uh those karate guys take and they their feet dig in deep. All right. So both Ron Goldman and uh and Nicole Simpson uh, were adulterers who got put to death. But it wasn't by OJ. Alright? Not physically. I mean, could he have ordered it or paid for it or is it's possible, you know. Nicole did have some, uh, some some debts and stuff to some cocaine dealers from what I hear. I don't know if that's 100% true, but I, you know. But th there was a rumor that he paid off uh, some some cocaine uh, uh, debts to some to some uh, drug dealers and, and they did it. I don't I don't know. But what I know is that 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 just that little bit of evidence proved his innocence. And of course, the gloves didn't fit him, which was supposed to be the main source of him uh, uh, being convicted. So now with that little bit of extra information, let's let it continue. You know, then OJ was before court, before a, a, a court of law, an Esau's law, before a jury, primarily whites, so-called white people. They found the man not guilty. But when I play the clip, man, just look and listen to how these crackers react. All right, so let me play this clip first of Mark Furman. And you know, he was a he's the lead devil. But, but check it out. Detective Furman, would you please resume the witness stand? All right, good afternoon, Detective. Good afternoon, Gerald. Uh, you're reminded, sir, that you were still under oath. Mr. Alvin, you may proceed. Detective Furman, uh, was the testimony that you gave in this case completely truthful? I wish to assert my Fifth Amendment privilege. Have you ever falsified a police report? I wish to assert my Fifth Amendment privilege. Is it your intention to assert your Fifth Amendment privilege with respect to all questions that I ask you? Yes. I only have one other question. What was that, Mr. Furman? Uh, Detective Furman, did you plant or manufacture any evidence in this case? I assert my Fifth Amendment privilege. Well, you know what? Let me let the brother Adama say it. Salakia. All right, so here you have this devil lead detective now, okay? This dude was asked four questions, and each question that was asked of him, he wanted to insert his Fifth Amendment privilege. All right, so one of the key questions was, did he plant or manufacture any evidence in that case? You know, if he was an upstanding citizen, you know, a, a, a sworn to protect and serve, he should have said emphatically, no, I never did anything of the like. But exactly, but he did not. Same way, we'll say that we were the Israelites, that we were the rulers of Sweden, of, 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 of Germany, of, of Scotland, Ireland, England, all of Europe during, during, uh, during the Dark Ages during the medieval times. And then we'll go to the internet, to Esau's records, to his books, and show you the images and the relics that they've dug up, that they have in their possession, proving these points. But yet, when the evidence is presented that proves us to be true and them to be liars, they plead the fifth and look the other way. What you just saw is the true nature of the Edomite. Right. This is a uh, Job fifteen and thirty five. One of my new favorite scriptures. They conceive mischief and bring forth vanity 
their belly prepareth to seek. The same way they plan to use their technology where they can take your face and your voice and fabricate speech and make you say whatever they want to say. They are going to demonize us. And while I'm prophesying it, I'm telling you that it's going to happen before it happens. And Esau is stupid enough to just go ahead and do it anyway. And the whole world is going to, and then you, the whole world already knows how they treat the so-called Negro, Latino, and Native American here in America, especially the so-called Negro. All right. But Esau has a bound that he cannot pass. And his time is nearly up because all this is going to backfire on him. This is Job 14 and 5. Seeing his days are determined, the number of his months are with thee. Thou has appointed his bounds that he cannot pass. Kwam Yasharala.